Yo, what's up, how you know? Welcome to another tutorial on my channel. So, in this video, I'm going to be building basically running out our comments from our, our database. You can see comments on that particular post, which is going to be straightforward, easy as pie. So, don't mind my meter, my phone is actually low. That's why I'm using this. I'll do pay later. Without further ado, let's just get started. So, when we the post, the, uh, the post details actually, so we have where we have this post details and where we have um, this that time. What we can do is have a size box. We have a size box. So this size box will have an height, let's say 20. So we have height 20 that we can go ahead and have X that says comment. We have um, X that says comment. So what we can do basically, uh, I'm going to render our comments in that section. So we are going to render our comments right on that comment section here. To do that, we have to go to our post control. Let me just say post controller. What is it called? What is it called? Future. Let's go to future. This feature is going to be called get comments. And our get comments is going to accept an ID. All right. And it's going to be async. Uh, so before we continue, we need to actually uh, look at our response, our API response. So why I'm just copy uh, my Hello. URL here. Now I'm just going to open this, open this up in my browser. So we have API that's PHP, which is meant for the comment, which is for get request. It is post slash comments comment. And slash post ID I mean. mm -hmm. so I'm going to head over there and do slash post ID initially I'm supposed to open this in um in post mark actually but I'm just going to stop in in Chrome so so my system doesn't get laggy so I'm just going to see what we have now you can see this is the response we are getting again remember the app we use so we use app to use app dot to convert our API to to a that model um as soon as possible. So to do that, what we just need to do is copy um everything. Yeah, follow I can copy. Yep. So you can copy that. I can just go ahead and replace this. So instead of having comment post model, we're going to have a comment model. Here. Beautiful. So one that is done. Remember, what we have to do, what we have to do is copy everything here. Now we can just go back to our phone, close this. We can close that and we can go to. I'm just going to close everything. Let's go to lib, go to models, go to create a password comment. So that. Right? So basically, we just paste everything there. Let's see if it's red. Okay. We have no red here, so everything seems okay. Save this. Now we can continue with where we stop. Now, when we have um, this, what we want to do is at the top here, what we have um, like our posts, what we did for our posts, we're also going to do it for the comments. So, you're going to just copy and paste this. So, you know, what I want to do is just change this to comment model. Uh, make sure you import the comment model. Uh, make sure you import the comment model. So, let's copy this. We're going to import comments. Oh, I don't know. Oh. I'm just going to copy this and import comments. Okay, everything works. So yeah, we just need to change this to comments. And uh, let's see what we have to do again. Nothing else. Everything seems okay. So let me just add um add this. Okay. So one we have our get comments. So we are getting we are accepting an ID which is a post ID. Then what we can do is. I try and catch a uh, try and catch block on it. So we can have a catch the exception of e then we're going to print out this let to say print e to dot to string all right so once this is done what we can add it um we can go ahead and have uh, what we want to do just like we did for the post so we have comments and this the value we are going to, to clear it so we don't want them to be piling up every time so that is 
what we need to do first. Remember, we have is loading. So it's loading of value to be equals to true. Okay, so it's loading of value to be equals to true. Then we are going to have our var response. Okay, so the var response is going to be await. So what are we going to await? HTTP dot get. Now our URL. So how do we do this? Yeah, we pass in URL the path. Then we do this. So what I'm going to do is just copy everything here. Just paste it. Okay, so the only thing we need to change is our URL. So our URL is um I should go to my PHP. You can see it is post comment then post ID. So let's just copy this comment post ID. Then let's pass um ID, which is a post ID. So we can basically remove the we don't need the it's oh, what, what just happened. So let's remove what is what is this? We don't need to remove unnecessary interpolation braces. All right, so um, yeah, it is it's good like it. And yeah, that is basically everything we need to do. Nothing special. We can go and do even response dot value. Oh, not value. Sorry, the response of status code. So if the response of status code is equals to 200 we are having a status okay 200 i'm trying to figure out the keyboard is we have this 200 you can go ahead and say this is loading that value so it's loading that value plus two then and our final let's not use comment let's use two Async the code. Who are we recording? Recording the response dot body. All right, so response dot body comments. I believe there is comments. Let's take a look at the bar. So now we can go and do item. So basically, we can go and do comments dot value dot add. We can go and do comments model. Insert. So from JSON, we're going to pass in. I see the code is basically similar to. So the one we have above. What we need is just else. So else we need to do the to be false. We are going to print out whatever we are using the code. This is the code. This save. Basically, written what we are supposed to write it. Seems okay. So, what we do is go back to details page. Okay. So, once we are in the details page here, we have to do something, you know, the like the details page that we are supposed to do. Something we are supposed to do. So, what I want to do is I'm going to click back from here. So, basically, we click on this. We want to send a request to our API, then we are going to fetch our comments. So that's what, I, that's what I'm going to do here. So what we are going to do is um, from final final um post controller. Don't have post controller because we get dot put post control. It's also going to import the post controller. So we're going to have a void in it. So in this state is it's called basically um once the page is rendered. In this state. 
And for this unit state here, what we are going to do is uh, going to do widget binding to prevent any widget error. Maybe basically to prevent like an issue where the widget has no has no rendered finish over and you know, we've rendered our API already. So that kind of issue. But like laggy devices, we're going to prevent get binding dot stance dot add post add post frame callback. Alright, so we don't have any timestamp, we can just Biggest null and uh, uh set this like this. Then inside here, you can just get a post controller dot get comment. Uh, okay, let's change it. It actually gets comment. Okay, look at that. Okay, let's comment down. How do I get comment? I'm going to get comment by doing widgets dot post dot id. So that's the post ID. It's simpler. And um, well, we should go to go initially. So let's check post controller. So for this comment, what I want to do is just going to print out six. Print it out, I mean. So I'm going to print out six. Basically, see if we are having what we want to get. So, no console. So let's go back. Let's go to the blog details. The details here. Let's open up this one. So this one should be sent. And we have an error. It's actually sent, but we have another that says, okay, routes cannot be found here. So we have an error for route. So go back again. Let's go to our post controller. Uh, I think it's this because of this. Yes, so it's because of that. So we're going to do this. I was going to do this. Save that and let's try that again. Run this. You can see here we have our comments running out as expected. So we have email, comments, and business, and so forth. So what we want to do is um, have a list view. Go to the details. All right. Okay. So what we want to do is go over to what we have these comments here. Then uh, what we can do. We have a list view. So let's have a list here. Yeah. But before that, I think we should have um we have an OBX. We have an OBX just like it is. So let's just do it from scratch. So we are going to have an OBX. Yes, we get here. And uh, we are going to have return. What are you returning? We are returning if post controller dot is loading dot value all right so if it is loading we want to have central widget circular which is going to have a child on it we can have a circular just indicator just as expected then what we can have is um let us have we can have list view builder. View builder is going to collect an item builder. So this item builder here, uh, let's just tell this. I like putting it down. So we have item count. Item count at four. So our item count is going to be post dot comment dot value length. We are going to have shrink wrap. We are going to have item builder. To the last here on test index then we're going to have uh, a list out basically just return a list out so this is going to be uh, always a type to have a text so our text is going to be post controller dot comment dot value select the index Index dot um uh, and let's use name. Let's put name. Let put name. I think I should put the comments first instead. Okay. This is expected to find a semicolon, and also expected to find a comment. As expected, so find. So you can see we have amazing in this place. working as expected. Right, so we want to add a title of the name, right? 
and uh, basically the email also so, so thank you this is going to be post controller dot comment dot value index dot comment this is going to be for this is going to be dot name right so save that and let's take a part of again so we have pressure on that our last one is to do is just set um let me already see there's other thing like okay let's try let's put it let's put the email out brilliant brilliant so this one is a text also post controller dot comments dot value text dot email amazing so basically this is what we want so if you should go back click on this to load fetch out the comments beautiful all right so in this video you've learned how to run down the comments so in the next video we are going to look at how to post our comments to the to our blog now it should be done then if you guys need um admin admin for it so you go ahead and comment down below so i'll see if you can do it so basically this side of the tutorial just to learn how to connect directly to our application without further ado see you next time peace